Hey guys, welcome back. So over the last couple days, the pond has been starting to freeze here on the property. And last night it, it was completely frozen, just real slightly. Um, and the ducks, they usually only have wherever they're in the pond. So they only had this small area back here um, that was thawed out for them to swim in. And these ducks are completely free range. And that is where they go for safety at nighttime. So they need to have water or at least they need to be able to get out onto the pond in some water where coyotes or foxes can't get to them. And the winter time is always kind of a struggle. And we've done a lot of things in the past where we've broke the ice and tried to keep it clear, but uh, that always ends up being a huge pain. And then if it does completely freeze over, typically we start losing ducks to predators. So uh, one of my goals this year, which I never completed, was to put an aeration system out here in the pond. And the main purpose was to, to help fight the algae, um, to help the health of the pond by keeping it oxygenated, you know, keeping oxygen in the pond. And I actually have that aeration system, but I've never installed it. Um, so what I'm thinking about today is, is just kind of set it up temporary. See if we can get the, a couple aerators out here in the pond and that will bubble upward with air and it'll keep that water moving. And I think what it'll do is it'll keep an area from freezing and it'll make sure that there's an area that the ducks always have to swim in. So let's go ahead and get out the aeration system and see if we can at least maybe hook it up temporarily and uh, keep this from completely freezing over. So this aeration system is sized for a four acre pond and we have a three and a half acre pond. So this should be about the right size. So this is the aeration pump. Uh, this one has a three quarter horse. We got a manifold here. We got four sets of tubing that's gonna go out to four different air aerator diffusers that go in the pond. I believe that's what this is supposed to be right here, the aerators or the diffusers. So these are a membrane and the air bubbles through this membrane. It's got a bunch of little bitty holes poked in it. So the diffusers will attach to here and then this metal plate actually weighs it down to, so it stays on the bottom of the pond. So they call this a rocking piston pump. I've worked on some of these that are similar to this at work. Um, on the inlet side here, this is a filter uh, to filter the air going through. And then on this is the outlet side back here and then that's where this manifold is going to attach to. Just says snug fit by hand. All right, so I got both diffusers screwed in there and the next thing is this barb. It's kind of interesting. It's actually got a rubber flapper here. It's actually like a check valve. So, um, so it'll let air in, but it's supposed to prevent water from going back down the hose. So like I said, this is an aeration system that we bought for a four acre pond. Bought it last Christmas because it was on sale and I haven't touched it since. So I finally just got everything out and I realized they didn't actually ship me everything. Um, so I have 600 feet of tubing, that's correct. Got a 300 or a three quarter horsepower aerator pump, but I was supposed to have four of these. Uh, and I ended up only with one box with two. So, <laughs> oh man, it's been over, you know, it's been a year. It's been a year basically since I ordered this. And it's just been sitting down here in one of the bedrooms down here in the basement. And uh, it's probably too late to try to correct this. Uh, I can still try to send them an email or, or give them a call, but it appears I'm short a couple of aerators. So I may have to end up buying them uh, just because I've waited so long to open the packages up. Um, so that's what happens when you, when you buy something and you don't end up falling through, stuff like this ends up biting you. Um, but anyway, everything looks great. I like the way everything's put together right now. So I've got a, this will be easy, I think, to put together temporarily. So I think I'll just use a couple of these hoses and we'll hook up the aerators to a couple of these valves on this manifold. And then 
This has just got a regular plug in on it. So I think I'm just gonna run an extension cord out to this pump to be able to turn it on. And um, I could probably just power the pump all the time, or I might even be able to use one of those. They have those little, what do they call them? Uh, they're like a little outlet thing that plugs in, but it actually switches on and off with the temperature. Like it only kicks on when it's 35 degrees or less. less. I think they call that a thermo cube, I think is what they call it. It's like a little outlet uh, plug-in adapter, and then it would only kick on and off when it's cold. So uh, I think this will be fairly easy. I think I'm gonna mount this to a, a board. Uh, I don't know if I can mount it to a board or just sit it on a board. And then I actually bought a fake rock to put over the top of this to keep the rain off of it. So I think that'll be fairly easy. Um, just need to run an extension cord. We're gonna have to get these tubes hooked up to the aerators and then I'll probably take the boat and actually have to take these out off the shore a little bit and drop them in place. So this tubing is a weighted tubing. It's made to sink and not float. It's pretty heavy stuff. It looks like everything that I need has come with the system. It's got hose clamps to clamp everything. I guess I got everything but those other two diffusers. So we're pretty much just gonna set these uh, just probably 50 feet, 30, 50 feet, somewhere close to the shore, not very far off the shore. So um, we're actually gonna have quite a bit of extra tubing when we're done, even just using one roll on each. There's a couple of uh, rubber cable clamps. You wanna use one that actually fits tight to the hose because we want this, I think, is to help uh, really grab that hose and attach it to this framework or this foot that goes in the pond. All right, it's tight. I think I could definitely lift this up and down with this clamp here. I think that'll help me lower it in the water without it coming off of the barb. So I think I've got everything put together as far as I can, at least here on the table. So if you look at these aerators a little bit closer, you can see all the little holes. You see those little holes? It hardly shows up on the camera, but that's where all the little bubbles are gonna come out and go through the water uh, to aerate the water. And I'm hoping as those bubbles reach the surface, it'll cause enough surface movement that it won't ice over and, and, and stop it from forming ice in that location. So the aeration pump itself came with a manifold. It's got four ports on it. Uh, of course, we only have two diffusers, so we can hook up two diffusers, and then there is actually valves where we can turn off the other ports, and I think everything will work fine. So I think I'm to the point where I'm gonna go see if I can get the boat, and we'll, we're gonna drop these offshore, not very far, and then bring the hose back up, and then we can figure out exactly where we want to put the pump. Just do one at a time.
Well, Sydney, you can't come with me. Come on, get. Thank you. I'll be right back. So I think right here is probably a good place to put the pump. Remember, this is just temporary. Well, these hoses definitely go on these brass fittings easier than they went on the plastic ones. These are my favorite kind of screwdriver. They're like a six in one. You take the bits out and you got two different size nut drivers. It's perfect for these hose clamps like this. All right, moment of truth. See if this rock will fit over that. Oh yeah, that actually fit better than I thought it would. See if we get an extension cord. So when I plug this in, it's gonna come on. And we should see some bubbles. Open one of these up. You hear the air. <laughs> the ducks, the ducks just freaked out. Well, it's too bad I didn't get that on camera. The ducks freaked out. And you can definitely tell where the aerator is. They're they're probably not that deep. I'm gonna guess that those aerators are only like three to four feet deep. So you can really see that water rolling where those are. I'm afraid the ducks actually were really close to one when it happened when I turned it on. Um, I really think that'd be a wider area if it was deeper, but it is very shallow in these areas. So we'll see. Um, I guess when it freezes, we'll find out whether this ended up working or not. But at least I'm hoping, you know, out here we'll have an area that stays thawed out. All right, I'm out here in the boat and you can see you can see both of that double diffuser just really moving the water. But it doesn't look like it's got a huge diameter because it's so shallow. It looks like it's only really affecting about three or four feet in diameter, not very big. Um, so the ideally, when you put these in, you're supposed to put them in the deepest part of your pond. And of course, I just put them up here. The other one I think is right there. Um, I put them close to the shoreline for the ducks. Um, so this isn't ideal. So when we go to put these in permanent, which would probably be uh, this summer, hopefully, we're gonna put uh, one out here off the dam on this side, and then one over here somewhere. And that should be the two deepest parts of the dam, or of the, of the pond. And then the other ones, uh, there's gonna be one over here and then one down the, the finger that goes down that way. But uh, yeah, <laughs> not exactly ideal situation but we're doing it to keep the ice from melting or from forming then uh, rather than you know for the true purpose of this so here's the other one i think it's a little bit deeper because it's not as defined the other one was so shallow you could actually see the two separate sets of bubbles these are more combined i think it, it looks like it's maybe affecting a bigger area so i think that one's definitely deeper See if we can wrap this cord up a little bit. So everything's underneath this <laughs> fake rock. So we got our aerator system out. We got it put together and just kind of put out here temporarily. Got to test it out today. Hopefully this will keep the ice, at least some sections of the pond, it'll keep the ice away. So the ducks always have somewhere to stay in the water. So. 
This was not the original plan, of course. So the original plan, it's been a really busy year with building a new pole barn, never got to this. So the original plan is we were gonna put a dock out here, a fishing dock. Um, and we were gonna run power from the house out to this fishing dock. And then that power would also be used for this aeration pump. And we were gonna set it right beside the fishing dock. And that is still the plan. So hopefully this summer, we will get this done. This will be put in permanently. And you don't wanna have this hose like staying on top of the ground. Um, that hose would be buried until it got over to the pond. So we'll get this hopefully installed permanently this summer with a fishing dock. And, um, and I was originally gonna put it in that rock. Now, now that we got a chance to play around with it, I will say that that pump is a lot louder than I thought it would be. And they do sell these little cabinets for them to go in. And I think that they're, they may be somewhat soundproofed. I'm gonna have to look into that um, so that it can make it quieter. So I think my choices would be, um, I could look at maybe getting one of those cabinets and um, that might help quiet the pump down. I could also do it where that it's on a timer and the pump only runs at night when we're sleeping. So then you never hear it during the day. Um, and I think that would be the two choices that I would do when we put this in permanently. But uh, it was nice that this has been sitting in the basement for a year. We, I looked it up. So I looked it up. December 12th of last year, we bought this. It was on sale for Christmas. It's been in the basement ever since. So I did go ahead and I, I contacted the company. This was Living Water Aeration that we bought this from. And um, I sent them an email. I sent them pictures of what we had. I sent them the shipping invoice showed, like on FedEx's website, it showed there was only four packages. And I had to have at least five to be able to get everything I needed. So I was short a box. So I contacted them. I know it's been a year. <laughs> so I, just to see what they would do, whether they would, would fix it or not. So uh, we'll have to wait and see whether they end up sending me two more diffusers or I'm gonna have to end up buying a couple on my own so that I can get this installed the way that it's supposed to be. So I think that's probably gonna be about it for today's video. Today is December 23rd, and uh, this will probably post somewhere around Christmas or the day after Christmas. And honestly, having as many subscribers as we do and as many people that watch our videos and follow along, that's probably one of the best gifts that we could have, you know? So I just wanna thank all you guys very much for following along. Thank you guys for all your nice comments and your encouragement. Um, that helps keep us motivated and that helps keep us doing this. So uh, I just want to thank you guys very much. I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a safe holiday. So um, I think that's it for today, guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.